On this episode, we take a trip to Lumberyard to get some lumber, duh, and then we actually finish the frame. Now, when I say finish the frame, we actually put some finish on the frame. Yeah. Got my trailer all hooked up and I'm heading to the lumber yard for some poplar. Now a few reasons I use poplar in pool table applications. One, it's very, very stable for a soft wood. And I should say it's a soft hardwood. Hardwood trees have leaves and softwood trees have needles. But anyway, it's a relatively soft hardwood and it's very stable. And the, the price, you can't beat the price. I'm buying a quarter rough cut poplar. I think it's cost me about two fifty a, a board foot, which is really, really, really nice. And but the most important reason they use uh, poplar is because it has what's known as self-healing characteristics. If you put a screw or a staple into it, and then take those screws and staples out, the wood has a tendency to heal itself. And for pool tables where you're, you know, recovering the table and recovering the rails, and you're removing staples all the time, it makes for a very, very useful characteristics characteristic to have. Now I have a few lumber yards that are about within 30 miles from me and I don't have to rely on the big box stores for my lumber which is great for a couple reasons. One, I can buy it rough cut and two, it's a lot cheaper than if, it, if they did have it at the big box stores anyway. It works out really really well. So once I get the poplar back from the shop I'm going to run it through the planer, run it through the joiner, get it all trued up, cut down to proper dimension and I'll start building the subframe. Then once the subframe's done, it's time to start setting slate. And then we get to have fun building rails. Hmm, I should probably order some cushions. Oh, I'm gonna need pockets too. What else do I need? Oh yeah. I need to get some of those little discs thing, disc things for the bottom of the rail so I can screw it to the oh screw, I need to get screws. Boy, what else am I forgetting? Oh, God, we're going to need fabric too, aren't we? Boy, I'm not looking to look for the price tag that's coming up on my... Oh, oh well, it'll be worth it. Well, what a difference a day makes. Last week or two, it has been 70, 80 degrees here in mid-Michigan. And today I woke up and it is 40 degrees. Very, very windy. And just not a very pleasant day. But anyway, I've got my poplar all milled down to the proper thickness. I've got it all cut to the proper dimensions. And I'm going to attach this to the frame using uh, biscuits and glue. And then I'll, as I'm going, I'll use finishing nails to hold everything together while the glue dries.
Got the slate bed all put together and assembled and attached and everything looks really true. Um, I spent a lot of time and effort making sure that this, this is completely flat and completely smooth so we have a good foundation to lay the slate. Now in a perfect world, we would level the table, set the slate on, and then we'd be good to go. Well, I don't live in a perfect world as most, pe most of the people don't. So how this is done is you level the table as good as you can get it, then you set the slate on, and the slate doesn't actually rest on this bed, believe it or not, in most cases. Most of the time, the slate is set on shims, hardwood shims. So in order to make that process a little bit easier, I'm going to go around and I'm going to take a roundover bit and just round over the edges of all these tables, so that, all these rails, so that I can get shims in there much easier, because we will be, sh this slate will be shimmed, guaranteed. looks nice. I finished rounding over all the edges and, then, and everything looks fine. And at this point in time, I'd be ready to lay some slate. But I started out with a really cold morning today and I checked the forecast. It doesn't look like we're going to have any warm weather in the near future. It's warmed up to 60 today. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the legs off, get it on the bench, and actually do some final sanding and actually put some finish on this bad boy. Once I get the finish on, then I'll start working on the rails. And if the weather turns too cold on me, I can always put the finish on the rails inside the house. Much smaller pieces to handle. <laughs> 